start the tour for the general public, uh -huh. can I, may I please see the absolute, you know, you're meeting the public for the first time. Absolutely, that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm taking you right like I'm doing up. So I'm the regular public, I oh, come the up these. I'm the regular public coming through the door. I'm going to treat you just like I do. I'm going to treat you both ways. Like you're coming with a school group of kids. Okay. And I'm going to treat you like you're not coming out with a school group of kids. Oh, okay. Because there's two different ways we do this. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Fantastic. Yep. I'll do it both ways. Wow, I didn't notice this the first time we came through. You didn't notice those. Yeah, a lot of people no. stop and they love that. They take a picture right of that. Were we moving that quickly? I think we were, because you're right. I didn't notice. Amazing. How did he get past me? I didn't even see him come past me. All right, we're going to go all the way to the front, guys. Okay, I'm still the general public. I'm still by myself. We haven't even come in yet, so we're going to do it two ways. I'm going to do it just like I, like I trained, let's see. Since I've been here, I think I've trained 18 senior tour guides. Wow. And that's a lot of tour guides. I'm, I'm the only one still standing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's smart or dumb to be true <laughs> with you. I don't know. I don't know. You can look at it. Anyway, they just hung these up. These were some great old photos. That they resurrected. That's the one I remember, young. the one with the hair on the head yeah. standing on end. The old big bandograph is gone. After they did the remodeling in the classroom years ago, years ago, okay. that big bandograph used to set the sprinklers off and the fire alarms. Oh, so we had to wow. stop the big one, not the one that was bigger than this one. Funny, I don't remember these being empty this morning. Yeah, yeah you're gonna. Were, this is yeah. something I assume you guys are going to be addressing. Well, these. well, one of the reasons they're empty is because they have proprietary information. Right, that I remember from the meeting. Well, I this is where it's, it's going to be interesting to find out. When an engineer, like a group I had this morning, okay. some of them were uh, master engineers. Okay. I thought they were kids. They, I thought they were 20 years old. They go, no, 36, 36? Where's that, where's that Ponce de Leon uh, fountain of youth y'all been drinking from? But <laughs> it's interesting. I usually do not give any information that is not in the movie down below. Okay. They've pulled all the books. They've pulled all the pamphlets. They've pulled everything. So I'm assuming anything I say to you this morning, you're bouncing off white planes for security purposes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I figured that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to the front door. I'm going to stand. I'm going to greet you as you were just an adult couple coming in, like just with a couple kids okay. or just an adult couple. And then I'm going to greet you like we greet a school group. Okay. okay? All right. We'll do it both ways. Hello, dear. How you doing? Kim and Katie and I wrote down some stuff for you, so okay. we got a little list started. All right, now say you come through the door. Okay. Okay. There is a, let me just start right out with this. There's a, there's a law in New York State regarding the smoking. Okay. Now, I don't know if there's something you would want to put regarding smoking or not smoking near the, the front of this building. We also have signs out about the, the backpacks, the checking of backpacks. And we also have had recently, because of the l, &L tours coming in, they're covering up our free sign. See this sign right here? There's a sign out in the parking lot, and there's a sign here that talk about the facility being free to the general public. And l, &L has been charging the people on the bus. So we've had a long, year-long process of, they've gone from saying it was chips to us, to parking, to this, to that, so they've been, it went from $10 to $25. So when Ooh. people come up and say they see these free signs, you can imagine how it's the tourists have been reacting. So those might be some things you might want to address before we even get into the building. The smoking, the free, the backpacks. Okay. I'm sorry, Brian. Yes, yes, I do. But I, I'm afraid there's something that I don't understand. Are you saying that Definitely. these signs exist? It, the, the, I no. understand the free signs exist. But the others, do they exist or they do not? In other words, no smoking. There is no smoking except for these little things. See these things on the door right here? It's not, it's not big enough. It's not It's not big enough. enough. Yeah. Pet. Pets. Some people bring, they need the um, anxiety assistance. You can barely see that that's, that's another factor that has come up occasionally mm -hmm. throughout the last maybe 15 years. We have had, that should kind of be addressed. Um, the free, the smoking, the pet, you know, that we are pet friendly for people that have the anxiety dogs. Right. Um, instructions of how to get here, directions. Number Another number one issue that's always brought up. If people put in the GPS, this address, they invariably end up in Youngstown. Yeah. Every wow. time. Oh, so, yeah, 
I don't know if there's something about that. So those would be the things that right off the top of my head before you even get in this building. Uh -huh. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, they must have addressed this at some earlier point. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, I want to ask you about the size of the no smoking signs. Uh, is it is it too small because the issue those comes little up squares on the door that's what she's issues, talking about. The issue comes up with large crowds, and therefore a large crowd obscures it. Or exactly, when you've got like you said, you've got 50, 50, 60 people coming off a bus, and they're all at this that's door. Too low. Who can even see this? Yeah. You're right, they can't even see this. And the other sign over here, this oh, would actually be. This is the only sign that you've got over there. So, people do stop and look at this. Right, but that's because it's huge. Right. I mean, it's a definite eye catcher. But this might be somewhere you might want to incorporate some of your, I don't know, some of these issues. Okay. Right. So that does not come up. It just comes up when the people come to the door, uh, and they'll see a no dog sign, no pets mm -hmm. on that door, and it creates. Sometimes it can create a problem for a lot of children in the building. Where the dogs are spooked by the children, or you know, parents come up. Start you right out with welcome. Now, say you're a scheduled group okay. and you've got kids, big kids, a big group, and we've, we're ready to greet you and divide you up. Welcome, New York Power Authority's Visitor Center. My name is, and my name is, I also, told, also introduce anybody working on the tour with me. We have to do a little housekeeping here, a little safety spiel, I call it, and this is what we have to run through. We have to run through the fact that the kids cannot play on the escalators, they're very old, and that flip flops. Crocs have been known. There's a thing in the country right now, Crocs are sliding into the sides of escalators. Oh, wow. And so we don't allow flip-flops and Crocs on the escalators. You're going to use the escalator. Pardon me for interrupting. Oh, that's all right. This is only for recording, not for the actual work. Okay. All right. So um, we, we, uh, we request that you do not take the escalator if you have flip flops and gel back. Oh, either one. Also, this check one actually is more check of a your pant legs. If you're, <laughs> anything's hanging down, if your kids wear them, sometimes they're hanging. Try it now. Please yeah, pull those up for us. We don't want them to get stuck in the escalator. If the escalators are going up, which direction do I want you going? Up. If they're coming down, which direction do I want you going? Down. I don't want to see you going up the down or down the up. Also, please, no running in the building. Especially if the floors are a little bit wet, your shoes might tend to stick and you'll you'll be behind your shoes, your sho your, or you'll be in front of your shoes, so no running in the building. And we also request nothing goes over the side, even something as small as a quarter. You're 400 feet above the gorge base, Ooh. even a quarter could hurt someone down below, so we don't Absolutely. allow anything to go over the side. If, pray tell, you do any of those, the camera's up here, they'll keep an eye on you, and you will be asked to sit up the rest of your visit. That's a typical welcome to the group, get the kids in line, because you suddenly, we have them all different ages, all different walks of life. So you've got to make sure you do that housekeeping. Then other than that, I would start them right up at the top and go right up to the memorial wall at the top. Now I'm going to do, if you're just regular visitors, couple, maybe you're by yourself, maybe you've got one or two children, maybe you got no children. Well, I'd like to welcome you to your Power Authority's Visitor Center. Mm -hmm. I tell my name. We are a self-guiding, self-touring facility. Please feel free to move around the facility at your own pace. You don't want to let them pace themselves, give them enough time. Then what I would do is explain. You may go up the elevator. They may have a chair or may have a cane or maybe you don't need it. You may use the escalator, some people don't like the escalators. Or please feel free to use these steps. At the top is the memorial wall. 
dedicated to the 19 men who lost their life during the construction. And I always incorporate that because once they leave me, I don't see them again. You'll make your way across the glass walkway into the visitor center. Two levels of activities. Both the floors, because it's a, a big concern of people when they come through the door. Do we come back out this way? Am I going to get lost? You know, they actually feel like they're going into another planet sometimes when they walk. I go, both the floors are in a circular donut configuration. You'll go around both of them because this is kind of confusing for them. They look at this and they can't really see or feel for where they're going or what they're about to see. So I say both the floors are in a round configuration and you'll work your way down and then you'll work your way back up across. When you're done, you'll exit through the same place you came in. Okay. Yeah. Do, you have a, do you have a paper map? No, we no, do not. We, we came up, Ken Katie and I came up with a few things right at the top of our, 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 our head. Say we had um, one of those kiosks with the touch pad. It's a little bit more informative. Mm -hmm. Something maybe more state of the art. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go over some of these as we... Oh, big one, big one. Signs for the bathrooms. These were just added, these blue signs. Could we do something like they do at the airport where the actual thing is hanging off the side? We call that a pendant. So. Pendant, okay. Very good. They just put these up for 15 years or 14, however long. I don't even know how long it's been, but we're always going like this. I recognize the look. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it would help to identify. I know we hate to mess up these gorgeous marble walls, but. All right, that's one. I'm going to give you this list, guys. Oh, great, thank you. So, um, yeah, touch pad. Can I just clarify, my, Brian, that what's needed is for one to hang from here and then the, for the men's to be seen Correct. that way Correct. and then also in the other direction? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, I'm just asking. Uh, above eye level for crowds and at eye level at the destination. Absolutely.